Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Kyodoka. I'm Rinse. Today I'll introduce 7 recipes of white radish, daikon. And in this video, I'd like to express one Japanese word, mottai nai. Wangari Matai, who is a Kenyan woman, spread this word, mottai nai, to the world. Mottai nai means wasteful and the spirit to cherish everything. I'll make 7 dishes with whole daikon, root, skin, and leaves. I'll make daikon and rice, simmered daikon with miso sauce, simple daikon salad, stuff like the daikon skin, kimpira, daikon leaves furikake, daikon leaves ohitashi, atlas, daikon soup, misore wan. I'll cherish and enjoy a whole daikon as politely as possible. This video is a bit long, but I wish this video be interesting and informative for you. Yes, let's go! This is a daikon with a beautiful leaves. In Japan, normally the leaves have already been cut. I bought it at the specialty Green Grosu. The leaves are rich in nutrients. At first, I separate the leaves and root. And I cut off the head part. Okay, I'll wash them. I'll eat the skin as well, so I clean it slowly. Okay, and the leaves. I remove the sand carefully. Good. At first, I'll make daikon and rice. I'll use a bowl part. This part is sweeter than the bottom part. The taste of daikon gets spicier the farther down it goes. And the skin of this part is thicker than the bottom part. I peel off the skin a bit thick, like this. Also, I peel off the skin thick, I'll be able to use it for another dish. Okay. You can use a peeler as well. I cut it into half. And I cut it into 1 cm small dices. Okay. Beautiful. I've done cutting. Then, this is branched daikon leaves. I cut it diagonally. This green color makes the dish beautiful. Okay, I keep it in the fridge. Next, abulage. Abulage is deep fried thin tofu, and it adds sweetness and richness to the rice. I make cuts finely, and I turn it. I mince abulage. Okay. Good. I'll prepare 200 grams of the rice. I add the water and stir it quickly. I discard the water. I rinse the rice. I add the water again. Okay. I transfer this water to a bowl. I'll use it to boil the daikon after that. I set it aside. I add the water. Good. I leave it for a while. I add 250 grams of rinsed rice to the nabe. Okay. Then I add 230 grams of dashi. 10 grams of mirin. 10 grams of rice soy sauce. At last, a pinch of salt. I mix them. Okay, I add abrage. And daikon. I use 100 grams of daikon. I cover it with a lid. I'll cook it. Okay, daikon and rice is cooked. I open the lid. Nice aroma of daikon and dashi. 
Then I add daikon leaves. Okay, beautiful. I arranged on a rice bowl. Finally, I add yuzu to give amazing aroma. The gentle sweetness of daikon and the rice goes well with any food. Next, I'll make simato daikon with miso sauce. I use the middle part of daikon. I peel off the skin. Okay. I cut it into quarters. This daikon is really soft and moist. Nice. The surface is smooth. Then I cut off the edge. This is Japanese traditional work, which is called mentori. Mentori makes the finish beautiful. I do opposite side as well. Good. I make a cut to cook it easily, and this will allow the flavor to soak into daikon well. Good. Then I boil daikon. I put the daikon into the pot. Okay. Then I add the water which I use to wash the rice. This water brings out the sweetness from daikon and it makes daikon beautiful white color. Okay, I'll boil it. I cover it with wooden lid, otoshibuta, and I heat it. Once it starts to boil, I turn down the heat and I heat it for 30 minutes over low heat. 30 minutes later, I open the lid. I'll check it whether it becomes cooked or not. Okay, the bamboo score goes through easily. I turn off the heat and I transfer it to the sink. I add the water and let it cool. I discard the water and add the water again. Nice, it's cooled down. This is 300 grams of dashi. I add 20 grams of mirin, 10 grams of light soy sauce, a pinch of salt, and I add daikon. I use light soy sauce to keep daikon beautiful white color. Okay, let's simulate. I turn on the heat. I use otoshibuta to heat it quickly. While I heat it, I'll make a bag of bonito flakes. I place bonito flakes on a sheet of kitchen paper and I fold it like this. Okay. I open the lid. The dashi is warm. I add the bag of bonito flakes. I return the lid and simmer it for 30 minutes. 30 minutes later, I open the lid. The aroma of dashi is so good, and it reminds me of winter. I cover it with the lid and let it stand. Next, I'll make miso sauce. I use this white miso, Saikyo miso. The feature of it is gentle sweet taste. I add 80 grams of sake, 60 grams of mirin. Okay, I'll heat it. I turn on the heat. Once it starts to boil, I turn down the heat and simmer it down to remove the alcohol. About 2 minutes later, I add miso. If you use salty miso, I recommend to add sugar. I stir it to melt the miso into the sauce. Okay. Then I add the rice soy sauce. I mix them well. Okay, good texture. Miso sauce is done. I reheat the daikon. When daikon becomes warm, 
I turn off the heat and I arrange it on a plate. I place daikon on olive plate. I pour ample dashi over daikon. Daikon and dashi are very sensitive flavor. I put a miso sauce on daikon. Nice, finally I top yuzu. Yes, simmered daikon with miso sauce is done. I cut it with chopsticks easily. Itadakimasu. The flavor of miso sauce brings out the sweetness of daikon. Next, I'll make a simple daikon salad. I'll use the bottom part. This part is a bit spicier than the above part. I peel off the skin. Okay, and today I'll cut it into fine strips. I cut it thinly like this. This cutting way is called katsuramuki in Japanese. I keep cutting it thinly and evenly. Okay, I roll up it. Nice. I spread it and pile up it like this. I chop it finely along the fiber. Cutting along the fiber will make the finish nice crunchy texture. Okay, then I let them involve the air. The smell is a bit pungency. This salad is good with fatty food, for example, grilled meat or fish. I put the original ponzu sauce to the salad. I stir it lightly and pour the sauce. At last, I put bonito flakes on top. Yes, done. Daikon salad is a really refreshing dish. Then, I'll make stir-fried daikon skin kimpira. I use the skin of daikon I cut it into half about 3 cm height. And I cut it into 1 cm in towers. This width will be good texture, Kimpira. Good, I set it aside. Okay, I'll combine the sauce ingredients. I add 15 grams of sake, 15 grams of mirin, 15 grams of soy sauce and I add dried red pepper then 5 grams of sugar I turn on the heat I add sesame oil and spread it Once the pan is heated, I add daikon skin I stuff fry it When it becomes nice brown, I turn down the heat. Then I add sauce ingredients. And sugar. I mix them. The aroma of the sauce is very good. And I simmer it down. The sauce reduced. Okay, I turn off the heat. I sprinkle sesame. I mix it. Okay, kimpira is done. Let's arrange it on a plate. Perfect. Daikon no kimpira is done. I really recommend this dish. Next, I'll make daikon leaves furikake. I cut it into half. I'll use it for making ohitashi. And I use them to make daikon and rice. 
the bottom part of the leaves is good for nice crunchy texture, furikake. I chop them. Okay. Good. I turn on the heat. I add sesame oil and spread it. Then I chop the daikon leaves. I stir fry them for a short time to remain nice crunchy texture. When I cook the leaves about 2 minutes, I add 5 grams of soy sauce. I add it to the bacon space and brings out the roasted flavor of soy sauce. And I distribute the flavor to daikon leaves. At last, I add bonito flakes. I mix them. Let's top it on the rice. Perfect. Daikon leaves no furikake is done. Next, I'll make daikon leaves no ohitashi. I blanch the leaves in the ample boiling water. I blanch them for about 90 seconds. Okay, I transfer them to the cold water. And let them cool. When it's cooled down, I remove them and squeeze out the excess water. This is important to make nice flavor of ohitashi. Okay, I cut them into 3 cm in towers. Good, I transfer them to a container. Okay. Also, I should make hapo dashi. I use this dashi instead of it. The dashi is good, and I add it to the daikon leaves. I keep it in the fridge over 2 hours. 2 hours later, let's arrange the plate. This plate is called akae. I pour dashi. At last, I top bonito flakes on it. Yes, daikon leaves no ohitashi is done. This is a so healthy dish. Finally, I'll make daikon soup misore one. Misore means sweet. I express sweet with grated radish. I grate the bottom part of daikon. I move it in a circular motion gently. It is important to grate it gently to make grated radish smooth texture. Okay, beautiful. This is dashi. I turn on the heat. I add diced daikon. Good. I add a pinch of salt. I cook daikon. Once daikon is cooked, I add chopped daikon leaves. I season it with light soy sauce. I stir it and taste it. A little bit thin. I add more salt and soy sauce. After that, I add potato starch with water and grated radish. So I season it a little bit thick. I add potato starch with water. I stir it. Nice. I add grated radish. I stir it again. Once it boils, I turn off the heat and let's arrange it on a soup bowl. The grated radish looks like sweet. Finally, I put the yuzu to the soup. The aroma of yuzu 
makes the soup perfect. I open it. Beautiful. We can enjoy a lot of faces of daikon, texture, taste, and smell. Thank you. Did you enjoy? In Japan, there are so many daikon recipes. I hope you will enjoy lots of daikon dishes. Thank you for watching this end. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Have a nice day. See you later.